Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today in Cyberpunk 2077 we have a lot to talk about going from the PlayStation gameplay video which was released yesterday by CDPR and much more so let's get into it. Because we are getting really close to the release date of Cyberpunk 2077, we only have, what, 15 days until it finally comes out, so of course CDPR started pushing out more and more marketing material for the game, and I do expect even more um, in the next 15 days. Now, in the gameplay video we got, there was a short introduction to the Nomad class, without spoilers, of course. We will see V basically talking to the mechanics, so it's safe to assume that's the very start of the game. And then after that, they start transporting that iguana, that animal, which is a super rare one, and also illegal contraband by 2077 rules. We also get to see more of the border itself, you will actually have to go to the border agent if you want to cross into Night City area. Keep in mind, Night City is a free city, so it doesn't belong in the US. That's why they protect their own borders, so expect corpos on one side and nomads on the other. Also, I do believe this uh, whole introduction with the border agent is just for the intro of the game. Once you actually start playing it, it's probably going to be a quick... Um, route to the border and then you just go across it by using your papers, so I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem. Now the gameplay was shown on the PlayStation 4 Pro and PlayStation 5 via backwards compatibility, which means the overall look of the game will be the same, well, with slight adjustments and better frame rate until the actual PlayStation 5 version of Cyberpunk comes out next year. And if you do have a PlayStation 4 version, the upgrade is going to be free. The overall frame rate on PlayStation 4 Pro was good. Graphics wise, there was obviously a slight resolution and texture downgrade from PC, but that's normal for every game being ported to now previous gen consoles. But overall, the graphics look really nice, uh, but it's mostly important it runs well frame rate wise. Of course, I do wonder how PlayStation 4 stock will run this, I doubt there will be a huge performance hit, but judging from the previous PlayStation 4 games I did play on my Slim, you can actually expect a hiccup or two regarding frame rate, but we shall see once the game actually drops. But even those hiccups might be in some areas when there are a lot of explosions, etc, etc, but we'll see. Now, regarding Border Patrol itself, I do wonder how this conversation will go. Keep in mind, you are transporting contraband, so maybe they take that away from us if we are made. So, it's going to be an interesting dynamic to see how we go through the border itself. Also, while entering into Night City, we do see a situation where Max Stack drops in to solve crime in the city. As you can see, they flatline these Chumbas with ease, so I expect the same thing to happen to us if we rile them up too much. Keep in mind, in The Witcher 3, for example, guards had insane amount of HP and also they had huge damage. So, if they do the same thing with Cyberpunk 2077, because they don't want you to destroy the city just like that, um, they might send max stack on you and it, it's probably going to be really difficult um, to bring them down, but we'll see how for how long we can actually fight them, but don't expect to fight max stack until the end, like in... I know some people are saying that it's gonna be like GTA, where you get wanted level, not really, like here they don't stop coming they don't they will keep attacking you until you probably hide and even after that happens we'll see how the game reacts to you committing those crimes one thing which also looked nice are rain particles especially if you manage to get this on pc with rtx the city will bring out its full colors then we also saw another chase scene while i believe scavs are attacking good thing that actually shooting the driver would bring the car down it will be super useful if we are tracked by more vehicles at once during some missions in the other news, we also got a nice little look at all of the boxes for Cyberpunk 2077. They are getting shipped as you are watching this video and the people and, well, distributors and both CD Projekt are getting ready for release date. That means actually getting all of the boxes, including the collector's edition, um, to the distributors and then they will actually ship those to the people, I guess, on that release date. I do wonder how shipping is going to be handled now in 2020, because yes, it has problems. 
We also had Pavev Kapafa. I, I do believe this is the right pronunciation of the full name. I don't know. Uh, who is a game designer working on Cyberpunk 2077. And he said that he got really emotional during one quest as he was playing. Keep in mind, CDPR did say a long time ago that they want to make us cry. They want to make us happy. So to target all of those emotions with missions will be super cool to see and definitely will add a new layer to the depth of the story. Now regarding future content before release, I do believe CDPR has one more cinematic trailer for release or just the release trailer in general because the Night City Wire they had was the last one. But it doesn't mean it won't come back for future updates like expansions, online stuff, etc. I do believe this is actually a really nice way to convey your message and information to the fans through these Night City Wires. I will be making some guides in the next couple of days to help you with, you know, getting into the dark future with ease, so you kind of have an idea what to do and what your options are lore and world-wise. Again, I'm not talking about spoilers, just the world building and lore from before, because there is a lot. And for the end, we have an amazing community creation by Night City IO. They made an interactive Night City map that you can explore a bit and see some details about each district. Keep in mind, if you know more about the map itself, it will kinda help you um, orient once you get into the game itself. Of course, more things will be added in the future, so I don't know, it's super useful for me when I'm doing some videos, maybe it's gonna be useful for you as you play. I will leave you a link down below, so definitely check it out. We're almost there, folks, just a little longer and we will be in Night City. So thank you everyone for watching. New lore video is coming out tomorrow. Something really fun I had a blast working on. And smash that like and subscribe button for more Cyberpunk 2077 because I do make a lot of these videos. Also join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. And if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, I do have a Patreon page, so check it out for bonus rewards and uh, a way to support the channel. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone. Bye bye.